Neural networks have been the buzzword in AI for quite a while now. But what are neural networks? Well, it's really just like any other algorithm. You give it inputs, it does some calculations behind the scenes, and it gives you some outputs in return. The show Startup probably has the best explanation of what a neural network is that I've ever seen. So, imagine Tarzan when he meets Jane. He gives her a rock, and she doesn't like it. So Tarzan tries to give her a flower, and now she's happy. Tarzan learned what the best answer is through trial and error, and by examining Jane's response to it. Now, let's substitute this scenario with some more fitting terms. A common mistake when talking about the Tarzan scenario is thinking that the rock and the flower are the inputs and that Jane's reaction is the output. In reality, if Tarzan is our neural network, then Tarzan's perception of Jane is the initial input, such as what does she want, what's her mood, and then the rock and the flower are the outputs it provides after it's done some calculations based on the inputs. So it looks at Jane's mood and then decides um, what the output should be. So Jane's reaction is represented numerically by what is called fitness. The higher the fitness, the better the AI knows it's doing. But what are these calculations I keep talking about? So you see, neural networks work in layers. You have the input layer, the hidden layers, and the output layers. Every layer has these nodes called neurons, and every neuron is connected to the neurons of the next layer. I know, complicated. But each of these connections has a weight to them, which is what determines which connection is chosen. You may have heard the term training an AI or training a neural network. This just means tweaking these weights until we get the output with the highest fitness. So, in theory, all the possible outcomes are already calculated. You're just training the AI to check which one is really the best. Since you're calculating a lot of scenarios, you'd think this would take a huge amount of processing power. But in reality, neural networks are actually made in a way that prevents this from happening. The layers I just spoke about are represented through matrices, which can be used as tables of values. So let's say that my neural network wants to know what happens if they choose the connection between input 1 and hidden layer 3. Then it just needs to check the matrix for what value comes up. But how does the network know which weights to tweak? Well, it kind of doesn't. You see, there's not much of a point for Tarzan to see that Jane doesn't like rocks if he can't remember that she doesn't like rocks. That's where genetic algorithms come in. Now, neural networks are not that amazing by themselves. They're just a way of calculating outputs based on inputs, just like any other algorithm. But if you make them remember th what weights and connections achieve the greatest fitness, that's where the real fun begins. Now. Let's imagine that we create 100 networks with random weights that are meant to drive through a course. Most likely, 90% of them are going to crash and achieve bad results. But the 10% that achieve good results are then combined into a new, a new generation. What I mean by combine is getting their weight values and taking one at random that gets passed onto a new network. This way, the values only keep getting better and better. But let's imagine this following scenario. The 10% of the good networks actually went the wrong way. But for the AI, these are still the best networks, so it's going to always choose the path that they took. This will result in having an AI that gets stuck because it just didn't know better. This is why we usually pick the top 10% of the networks plus the bottom 1 or 2%. This way, if we have a few networks who are still just doing random movements, then the AI much, might just find its way again instead of being stuck. And that's how genetic algorithms work. You pick some of the best and some of the worst and combine them so that they get better and better. So I decided to make this scenario in Unity, where you have this cube who has to travel through the path without hitting the wall. I follow this amazing tutorial by AJ Tech in order to get the basic foundation of my neural network and genetic algorithm. Thanks to this tutorial, I got it working in no time, but I wanted to see just how much I can actually expand this. The first thing that came to my mind was giving the rabbit some ridiculous scenarios, such as this one, where it was supposed to do laps, but it quickly figured out that it will survive just fine if it keeps spinning. So I took a step back and thought, okay, I can make it avoid things, but can I make it follow things? So that's what I did. I set up a guidance system in addition to the avoidance system, so that now I can kind of control what path the bunny takes. This wasn't quite enough, though. I wanted to check what happens if something attacks it will still be able to dodge something that is moving. So I made a few basic enemy AIs that just follow the player, or the AI, and gave the rabbit a few more sensors in order to detect them. It's a bit janky, but you, you can see that it eventually starts avoiding the enemies. I showed my progress to one of my friends, and he posed an interesting question. Okay, you can make it avoid things, and you can make it follow things. So does that mean that you could make it solve a maze? 
Turns out that yes, yes I can. By giving a goal and prioritizing the shortest distance to set goal, this AI was able to find a way to reach it after just a few generations. These were all very simple scenarios, but you can make tons of interesting stuff with this technology. I've left the project in the description if you want to play around with it yourself, but I would recommend watching AJ's tutorial first, so I'll leave the link in the description for that as well. For anyone who wants to see the process of the network learning but doesn't feel like downloading the project itself, I've also made this WebGL build that you can play on itch.io, so I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this video on neural networks. This was a project from our artificial intelligence class in university, so I'm no expert on it, but I hope this was enough to make you understand how you can develop and improve these algorithms. Let me know what you thought, and thank you for watching.